are discussing about uh, a new Cirolimus coated balloon. Uh, this is a new entry in a drug coated balloon field. Uh, until now, all drug coated balloons saluted Paclitaxel, and uh, some of them are working very well, and some of them not. The problem with this technology is that uh, out of something like 16 devices that have been marketed in Europe, only four of them have a reliable clinical program and they are effective tools for treating our patients. Um, Paclitaxel is not the best drug for treating these patients because the problem with it is that the therapeutic window is narrow uh, and so we need a new drug. But uh, Sirolimus, that is a very effective drug as we have shown from uh, other studies and from uh, other devices like stents, uh, is not so easy to deploy it to the Vestal world because the lipophilia of this drug is much lesser than uh, the one of Paclitaxel. So it took 10 years, uh, around 10 years before being able of delivering uh, uh, Sirolimus on a drug coated balloon and then delivering to the Vestal world. We decided to implant this device in our patient population, our European patient population, and then we designed the FASICO study that is a small study, a prospective study, just to see how this technology is uh, effective and uh, if it was safe. So we designed this study uh, in a broad uh, uh, patient population and we tested its uh, efficacy. Uh, the outcome was good. We tested it uh, in the FASICO in uh, small vessel disease and in instant restenosis. We only had three adverse events that were related to restenosis. No thrombotic uh, uh, complications, no safety issues. We decided to study this device in a broader patient population, so we needed more reliable clinical data, not short follow-up, not angiographic follow-up. And so for that reason, we designed the Eastbourne. The Eastbourne is an international spontaneous study that, enrolled, uh, that will enroll 1,000 patients with a clinical uh, endpoint. Uh, the primary endpoint will be TLR after one year, but we will follow these patients uh, up to two years. And we will, we will record all of the elements of the maze, that is uh, myocardial infarction, death, whatever uh, information we will get from this device. Uh, currently, recruitment of this study is going very well because we have enrolled more than 600 patients today, so we are almost at two-thirds of the patients that have been enrolled. And we also did an interim analysis uh, with a short follow-up after one month just to check if there were any safety issues, and we have seen that there are not. I hope that uh, with this study uh, we will be able to compare it uh, with other devices, other reliable devices. You, you remember previously I said that we have uh, only three or four drug coated balloons eluting Paclitaxel that have a reliable clinical program. So these devices have uh, studies with a clinical follow-up. Uh, the ESPORN probably will be one of the largest studies uh, for the drug or the balloons, uh, and uh, we will compare it uh, indirectly with these uh, Paclitaxel eluting devices. Uh, many physicians are asking me, okay, but we, we, we would like to see uh, uh, angiographic uh, data uh, we, in, in a randomized study. And so for that reason, we designed the Transform 1 and the Transform 2 studies, uh, comparing this device in a random fashion to other currently used devices. In the Transform 1, uh, we will randomize patients with small vessel disease to the most uh, uh, studied drug called a balloon, that is the sequin please. Uh, 100 patients will be randomized to these two devices in the small vessel PCI. And what is interesting in this study is that uh, uh, the PCI will be OCT guided. So we will have an OCT at the beginning of the, of the PCI and at the end of PCI. And this is the, the only study on this technology that is using this imaging technique. I think that we will have uh, very good data from this study to see if this device is similar to the best-in-class drug called the balloon. And the other very interesting study is the Transform 2 that uh, will compare this device to the DES because many physicians are asking me, okay, but now we have the DES that are very good. Why do you want to invest uh, the knowledge and the science on a drug called a balloon? And I replied them that uh, we don't want to put too much metal 
in small vessels in long lesions. So for that reason, we designed this second transform study uh, where we will randomize in a small vessel patient population the patients to uh, uh, magic touch and to science. That is the best in class uh, drug allotting stent. Also in this study we will have uh, an angiographic follow-up to see if the angiographic outcome in terms of late loss and person diameter stenosis uh, are similar. And we believe that without putting metal in a patient, uh, we will uh, find uh, the known inferiority with Zions. Th th that's like at least our expectation. So we want to test this device that has some specific advantages in terms of deliverability. Uh, if compared to other drug or balloons, uh, if uh, this device will be able to have a similar outcome as, as for Zions or other uh, DES in the instant restenosis.